You, what do you mean you know, already know what I'm going to say? I know you so well, Marnie, that I can predict what the show is going to be about. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go. Welcome to Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. Okay, so you guys, we, today Felicia's in Greece. So we have a special co host. Thank you, Mr. Jordan Brodsky, for coming to Limbrook, Long Island, and joining us today. He took the L I R from Grand Central. I just have to tell you, I spoke to Felicia today, everybody. Oh my God, absolutely. What did she say? So a few things, Felicia, who's probably not listening to this, obviously. I had to explain to her that when she gets off the plane, like she should not be in airplane mode. She thought she was going to be in airplane mode all week. I said, no, no, no. You mean like at the beach on airplane mode on her She phone? just thought her phone would be on airplane mode the whole time. Doesn't work that way. Felicia said to me, we walked 5,000 miles. <laughs> you mean steps? I said, you Stop. mean steps, Felicia? She's very hot. She says it's very hot there. Verklempt? It's 90 degrees, and the sun in Greece is very strong. And she went on a food tour, but she really only ate the dessert. <laughs> you know what? I feel so bad for her. It must be so hot in Greece on the Mediterranean <laughs> with the blue water. Felicia, I just want to tell you, you're very much missed here. I'm only your sub when you're not here. And you're missed, but I don't feel bad for you in Greece, sipping on martinis. I and- said, like, I hope you're drinking. She's like... I couldn't drink and eat like that. I would have had diarrhea. What's that Greek like drink called? I don't know, but I don't know. But she's 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 excited for her uh, cruise that starts Saturday, and she says hello everybody. She says hello, and I asked her to watch a show on the plane that I downloaded for her. I downloaded Bad Sisters because season two is coming out. She watched Dune one and Dune two on the plane. You know what's a good movie that's for like mothers that I actually really enjoyed on an on a airplane I actually cried during? It's not even a sad movie. It's called Wicked Little Letters. Wicked Little Letters. I think so. Because I don't recommend watching Dune on a, a tiny airplane screen. Is she keeping up the Korean content abroad? It's K-drama. No. I think she said she's so busy and she also she's so tired. You know, I just fell asleep. From what? All the 5,000 miles. <laughs> I could walk 500, 500 miles. And- <laughs> so you're going to find out if that movie is... It's called Wicked Little Letters. Oh, is anybody famous in it? Let me just check. It's a very good cast. It's a, very, it's a great story. It's not like a cinematic like okay. enigma. Yeah, it's just an easy airplane movie. Like Airplane movies for me are like a rom-com. You it's know what I mean? It's so good. Jesse Buckley, Olivia Coleman, Timothy Spall. All right. It's British. Mm, I have a plane on Tuesday. Maybe I'll watch it. It's a good one. It's a good one for a plane. Well, I already know what I'm trying to watch on the plane. Casey's will be mad if I download Secret Lives of Mormon Wives for the plane ride. Are you watching the one that's out now? Well, it started today, so that's going to be homework over I thought the weekend. You, I thought I'm, I'm actually really relieved because I thought you were going to go straight into that because the amount of homework you gave me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, like I don't think anyone watches as much content as you. I know. It's a struggle, and I think it's a lot of pressure. It's not a struggle. It's an addiction. It's a problem. You guys, I need to pause. I have to 10 one. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> you guys can talk. You know what? You, you and I should start talking shit about Marnie right now, and this is what we should talk. Is she, she upstairs yet? She's almost yes! there. I could hear the toilet. Back, back to that conversation we're having about Marnie. Um, what, what date is good for you for the intervention? I'm, I'm honestly for her. I could be available whatever you ask. Right. I mean, this is she's this a is, problem with the amount of TV shows she watches. It's yeah, like, it's uh, it's not cute anymore. The mandate that she gives, like, oh, you have to watch everything. Well, that's what addicts do is they want to bring you down to their level. How do you deal with misery? It? Loves company. Her husband. How do you deal with it? I just ignore it and um, pretend it doesn't exist, but like I clearly, do with most of my problems. You, <laughs> you clearly enable her, though. Right. Well, you know, I am bankrolling this thing currently. <laughs> <laughs> and a, it's not a cheap operation here. It's a, it's a just went to tough Disney lifestyle World. to keep up with. Mar- Felicia goes to Greece. Marnie goes to Disney, and here we are in the basement. You and me, Casey, just, just slumming it in the basement. She's laughing. It's oh, not hey, funny. hey, Marnie's back. Oh, What's sh- up? I will say. Hi. We'll say we should let people know because we left off with that we went to Disney, and Disney was oh, amazing. We had such a great time. Right, you don't even know if he's rolling it. You're still yapping. He's definitely rolling. Oh, okay. So Disney was amazing. Shout out to uh, my friend Jessica who put on quite the affair, and. It was just so great to be in Disney with family and friends and to see my best friend's daughter get bat mitzvah. And now my son Lennon wants a bar mitzvah. At Disney? He did say, I want one like this, but what if I, he goes, what if it was at Legoland? And I said, well, Lennon, you got to put the work in. You got to learn that Hebrew. He doesn't realize he's got it. He learns from your, his parents. And what Hebrew do you know? <laughs> Look at you. And you got a bat mitzvah and a wedding and a voda. <laughs> All right. I think now is the time for the news. 
I've got big news for you. I, I didn't know what you were going to say. What am I going to say? Anna Sh- Delvey, Dancing the- with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars is on my agenda to get through for the news. Anna Delvey, okay. Is it Anna or Anna? Who cares? Does it matter? Anna? Well, she Anna. swindled millions of dollars because she was like, Anna. So rich. So I don't know if you recall, probably not. A few years ago, I dressed up as her for Halloween with some friends. We were different phases of Anna Delvey. One was very rich. One was courtroom. One was, you know, Genius. J- jail. So I'm a big, I don't know. I just love the idea of her just owning it and like going on Dancing with the Stars. So I have somebody that I worked with years ago. I think it was on the Rachel Zoe show. He was my sound guy on um, in LA and he messaged me that he's the lead sound engineer on Dancing with the Stars. Wow. Sent me photos of her and said she was super chill. Of course she is. Well, I love that. Living her best life. She is living her best life. Some she people are not a- happy with her, the choice of her. I know. Did you see her on The View? Like they were just ripping her apart. They were? Yeah. What were they, they saying? They were not happy. They're like thinking you shouldn't be rewarded for bad behavior. Right, right, right. I don't think what she did was that big of a deal. Honestly, she's like the modern day Robin Hood. She's stealing Ooh. from the rich and giving to herself. Isn't it kind of like, remember when Leonardo DiCaprio was in that movie Catch Me If You Can? He was like a con artist. Yes. So, but lo and behold, she did her jail time for, for conning people. She's now, the issue is, and why she has an ankle bracelet, is because of the immigration. She's got to be returned to Germany. She was in ICE custody for over a year before a judge cleared the way for her to switch to home confinement in 2020 while she fights the deportation case. Are you like, so did you just prove my point by saying, because I, I knew you were going to talk about Anna Delvey, you're refusing to admit that I was right? Oh, no, no, you were right. That is part of my agenda, but there's more. Phaedra Parks. Oh, yeah. And Tori Spelling. You're forgetting a major star. Eric Roberts. Oh. Who? Stormy Daniels. What are you talking about? Did I make that up? I made that up. (laughs) You thought Stormy Daniels was on Dancing with the Stars? I swear to God, I saw them on the same headline. So maybe she's doing another reality show. It's like Stormy and Anna Delvey take the stage by storm or something What? Yeah. Casey, can you search this right now? If I'm right, what do I get? There's no way on earth Stormy Daniels is doing Dancing with the Stars. I, I... I'm not gonna con- like because I'm not- if th- wow. I may not be right, but, but maybe I'm you should sure be right. I am. But yeah. you should be right. I should be right. Wait, wait, I- wait! No, no, no! Look, Dancing with the Stars, Anna Delvey to model in New York Fashion Week and chat with Stormy Daniels. So there is some Stormy Daniels news. <laughs> you know what? They're in the same article. Shoot me! Shoot me! <laughs> You are wrong, but that's okay. So I'm a big fan of Phaedra. I'm excited for it. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars, but I will read all the headlines about it and a watch some dream. replays. A, a boy, boy can, can dream. dream. <laughs> they've had criminals before. They've had Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm. They've had Teresa right. Judice. So they've had, you're right. Yeah. Then what, people messaging me telling me that Anna's a criminal and shouldn't be. No. Well, Carol I, Baskin was on. She's a criminal. I forgot about her. Yeah. So bring Stormy uh, on Dancing with the Stars. Right. Bring her on. All right. I have more news for you, Jordan. I'm Can listening. you guess? <laughs> this is I, big. Are you pregnant? I wouldn't drop. Maybe I would drop it here. Guess what? Melissa McCarthy and Clive Owen will star in, are you ready? The upcoming Paramount Plus limited series. John Benet Ramsey. Shut the fuck up. Playing with their parents. That's amazing. When did you find this out? Where? <laughs> this morning. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. So some context here. Who's playing John Benet? We're not there yet. They're holding auditions. Jordan is obsessed. Jordan has like a little fascination with, like you know, true crime and all these stories. You do too. Totally. But you do love a John Benet story. Can you just explain to the listeners your obsession? If I meet someone who does not obsess over John Benet Ramsey, get out. They're not my friend. I don't want to associate. It's it's the biggest mystery in the country. It's the lo- longest running crime mystery who done it since we were young kids. You were much yes. older than me, but I was still a young <laughs> kid, and we just still don't know who killed John Monet Ramsey. Can you explain that you went to her house? <laughs> yes, my boyfriend Seth, who I hopefully you will meet um, on today's podcast, uh, <laughs> took me to John Monet Ramsey's house in Boulder, Colorado, and I got to see it for myself, and it was beautiful. Jordan sent me a selfie, an exterior shot outside this house with like no no description, just said, whose house do you think this is? And I knew immediately. Just from like the image. It's and, like, a very recognizable home. It is. And like the vision of like, oh, this flashback in my mind of seeing this. We saw it so many times. But you know what's what so crazy? Mean, oh, right. We saw it so many times in media. It, it sold for $7 million. That's what I want to hear. Boulder's but a very- Wasn't it a big house? It is. It's a very big house. But you wouldn't know from the front, it's it goes deep back. It so goes, somebody's living in this house. Someone's living in this house. They renovated, apparently put a lot of money into the renovation. And but I did see through the bushes the crawl space. Yeah, I'm not sure if you stop. Marnie doesn't know everything about this case like I do. But I mean, there is I don't a recall. Crawl space but isn't that where apparently like she was in the basement that goes to the basement where apparently someone's skinny, not Santa Claus. 
snuck down and killed her. So I saw the so I saw the crawl kidding. space. I saw the crawl space and I almost shit my pants. <laughs> and guess what? I hear knocking at the door. Get out! Get out! Someone Stop. The, I'm sorry, but if you live in John Mary Ramsey's house, you're gonna have to accept the fact that people will come take pictures. It's part of the it's part of the trade, correct? Yeah, I mean, like Sarah Jessica Parker's apartment, or it's like the apartment that's supposed to be Carrie Bradshaw's. There's like a sign, like please don't take pictures, or like you buy that place. That's not even fucked. her house on Perry Street. No, the I Sex know, in the but city pe- house. right? But people go there and like take pictures. You know what's funny is that Seth had to see the Sex in the City house on Perry Street. He was like those like. Tourist women from like Wisconsin. They're like, oh my God, I'm sex in the city. I'm going to take pictures. And guess what? It's not even the right house. And you're like, I have to see Job Ramsey's house. Of course. So this is exciting. Melissa McCarthy. That's crazy. And Clive Owen. He, this is like serious. Melissa McCarthy plays good Southern women. I love, she, give, put her in a, a serious role. Oh my God. Fucking can't wait. Her, and the, she's and, a villain. Ursula to mm. Patsy Ramsey. <laughs> did, did Patsy Ramsey kill her daughter? We don't know. Maybe Melissa McCarthy could help us answer that question. I can't wait. All right, there's more news that I don't really think that that you're was gonna, big though. I, I, that I'm, was big. I'm, the other, you're, you're st- oh, Jordan is like closing his eyes. He's taking a minute. So this is for other people that I don't think Jordan will care about. But a sequel to One Tree Hill is in development at Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know me, you know I loved One Tree Hill back in the day. So that is exciting. And guess what? Sophia Bush, Hilaria Burton, and the people like are are going to be part of it. You know what? Seventh Heaven should come back. Wow. Seventh Heaven. When I see your happy faces smiling back at me, I never watched it. Oh, good. it's you're not missing much. Um, do you know Ocean, Ocean's Fourteen is also going to happen with George and Brad? These people need to stop making like just because it worked once doesn't mean it needs to keep on fourteen ongoing. times. Well, no, they they need to make that money so they can make the movies they want to make. You Correct. Know? That's like Broadway, but it's like create some new content, create some new shows. Also, I have to give a shout out to Darren Carp because Darren hit me up. Darren Carp, I love her. We love Darren Carp, and Darren is the true no, crime she knows queen. She has a you know she's got uh, her podcast, which is about true crime, and she also did a Scott Peterson episode. Our episode last week is about Scott Peterson, and she actually schooled me a little. And she said the L.A. Innocence Project isn't the same as the Innocence Project, mm. and the documentary never makes that clear, which is kind of insane. So I just want to point that out that I didn't realize there were two innocent projects. Well. Well, you learn something new every day, thanks to Darren. Did you see any of this? Yes, I did. You did? Did you watch both? Yes, I did. Do you think he's now not guilty? I have to say, A, when I was a young tyke, I thought Scott Peterson was the hottest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> he's still, no, he's kind of, he's he aged. kind of good. Yeah, with his hair pulled back, it doesn't look bad. I was like, he's got, he lost some weight. I mean, yeah, he's I, I, liked him ch- I liked him chubbier. <laughs> I liked chi- him chubbier. I like his chiseled frame in the, ch- Casey's like shaking his head right now. He's like, really? No, don't even get me started because I have a whole other list of murderers who I think are hot. <laughs> You're on Vandersloot, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Oh, so you had a thing for him back in the day. Well, Scott Peterson, I think the reason it was be- became such a big case was because- he's good looking. And she was good looking. She was beautiful. Yeah. And she was good a Good looking couple. You know, wholesome American family. And you know what it is? I don't care if he's guilty or not. I think that, you know, I, I definitely think that they proved the case for his guilt. But what I, and I still think he's guilty, but um, there are some- like with the van with the burn with the burned mattress with the blood on it, like that was weird. But I, I don't think there's enough. Here, here's what's convinced there's me not that he's guilty. Evidence. Here's okay. what convinced me: the fact that on Christmas Eve mm. he goes an hour and a half away on a boat when he could have like there's probably lakes and stuff closer to his house, and he had to go by himself on this fishing excursion, and she happens to be found in the bay. Like that to me is like just like one and done. No, it, that's very. It's also circumstantial evidence. They, sure. They've nev- they never established. Sure. I mean, look, I'm not defending him potentially. Yes, you are. Here we go. Always defending the murderers. The hot murderer. No, but like, uh, you know, it, it's, there was no DNA evidence. There was, it was all circumstantial. There was no motive established. I don't know. And, and this, is what other, this is the other thing that got me. The lies to his girlfriend before saying that my wife died before she even died. That to me was like. She's the hero in this story. <laughs> what was her name again? <laughs> what was her name? Avery? No. Amber. Amber Fry. How could I forget? Amber. Yeah. She's the hero. She, you know what? She made it. She reminds me of you a little bit. Mm. Amber Frey? Yeah. Fry. She made it about Fry. herself. Her. Yeah. So, like, I feel like you could place me in every true <laughs> Thank crime you, Casey. scenario. Oh, I have a list. <laughs> there was another one you thought I was. Was it, was it, um, what's her face who killed her daughter? 
<laughs> the one you were really obsessed with. Which one? You were so obsessed with this one. We'd watch it, the court trial. There was a documentary on Peacock. Casey oh, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, you're, you're like, you're, I mean, to me, that's like such first nature. Like the fact that you're really- Thank you, Casey. It was Casey Anthony. I could see you, yeah. I definitely you were so some, obsessed with Casey Anthony. I get still you remind me a lot of her still. <laughs> yeah. Bella Vita, like she tattoos like beautiful life on her shoulder when her oh kid's God. missing. Oh my Tits God. out for, for the, the boys. boys. Tits out. No, that's her lifestyle. She's just going crazy. This is reminds me of you, but thank God Lennon is an adult in this house and he can <laughs> take care of himself because I don't know where he would be. <laughs> Lennon, if you ever hear this, I love you. And if you need a parent. I will be happy to take you in. So I think it's time we discuss uncircumcised gems. And the big thing we want to discuss, we're starting off with chimp crazy. Okay? Yes. I want to tell you off the bat, I have a listener, a friend of mine who went to college named Dana. Thank you, Dana, for reaching out. Dana was like, we're very good family friends with the exotic vet. The vet who literally treated all the chimps. You got this is actually how I got to this house today because she sold me on this bill of goods. <laughs> that, like I got the chimp expert in Missouri. It was it Missouri? See, like he, yeah, he was in St. Louis <sighs> and, and here. he treated all the chimps free of charge for Connie and, and Tanya. And I, she got me his email. He was like disposed by PETA for nine hours, and I was like, let's talk. Let's talk to him. I want to make this so happen. So he's part of this trial? No, but PETA, I mean, I guess wants to get information. Sure. So I emailed him. Um, his name is Doug, and he didn't email me back. So instead of talking to Doug today, we're going to Zoom with your boyfriend, Seth. Okay. So Seth, just give us some backstory here. How'd you guys meet? We met on an app called, Gr- I'm, no, I'm just saying <laughs> J-Swipe. We met on a legit, legit Wait, dating app, hold J-Swipe. On. There's a dating app called J Swipe. It's like J Date, but like it's a. Why swipe. have I never heard of J Swipe? Because you found your boyfriend, your husband, at a legit establishment at a at a concert hall. And even. <laughs> and I was it the never, Roxy? It was. It was the Roxy. Look at me. I'm very impressed. But even if I went on J Swipe, I still would have never met Casey because he's not Jewish. You know you're thirsty and you're ready for a husband when you like willing to do long distance because he lives in Denver. Yeah. I think a lot of people are doing long distance now ever since COVID. It works. It really does work. I mean, not permanently, but I think- Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Let me remind you, me and Casey were long distance for a while. I think we got along better when we lived on separate coasts. A thousand percent. That's why <laughs> he, he still wants to be long distance. That's why he wants me to travel. I'm going to San Francisco on Tuesday. He's like, bye, I got this. And when you date long distance, the, the days you spend I, I, together yeah. maximize the, the, the getting to know you period. Like sleepaway camp. It's a short period of time, and you've been dating for two days, but it's really eight months. Exactly. It's just like <laughs> sleepaway camp. I had to bring it to camp, so let's Zoom him. So how many months have you guys been dating? We've been dating since, I mean, we've been started talking actually since <gasps> March. Oh, there he is. There's Seth. Hey, booby. <laughs> Hi. This is Marnie. Marnie meets Seth. Seth meet Marnie. Seth, it's so lovely to meet you. You're joining in from Colorado. Denver, what's, Colorado. What, what's important is if you date or see Jordan, you have to be privy to all things crazy on television. And we want to discuss chimp crazy. We were supposed to have the exotic vet on. She didn't, he didn't know this. So she was supposed to have a special vet on who knows about the Missouri chimps. Yeah, like he treated the chimps free of charge. He's been interviewed by PETA. I actually think he was a little scared to be interviewed by me because I would have been like, you but know, you, I would have really gotten so, in there. You're so pro PETA. Look I at really would have gotten in there and be like, what the fuck is going on? So instead we have you, Seth. Thank you for joining us. My, my pleasure. I'm, I'm an expert on chimps. I'll be, or exotic animals. That's what I'll. <laughs> is that what you're calling me, honey? <laughs> so wait, so wait, let's start from the beginning. So Marnie, we were just, com- before you came on, we were just comparing Marnie to some of the, the most famous criminals. So am I up with Tanya right you're, now? You are, my Tanya? You're Tanya level. Okay, okay. Don't you think that Marnie reminds you of Tanya from- uh, Fake lips, the fake <laughs> eyelashes, the, does she have fake titties? She has to, right? She must. Yeah, I, I, that's definitely fake. I think the only thing that's not fake is she doesn't have like a facelift. Maybe. Oh, how she old? Need, do, how do you know that? Do you do you know how old she is? Something about Seth is that That's he's he makes true. up facts. How old is Tanya? I don't know. Now I'm actually really curious. I'm guessing she's like forty five. Five. She's not forty five. She looks 45. great. Five. No way. She no looks way. two years away she's from forty five. What you guys don't see in her, I see in her. The beauty, the charm, <laughs> the charisma. 
So wait, can we talk about what was that? Was that so? Let's just in her lips. What was that? They put in her. Oh lips? my god, that was the best. So the minute she's getting like a pedicure, and I turn to my husband, I'm like, "You see that cream on her lips? I bet you they don't even say it. I bet you that's numbing cream because she's about to get lip fuller." And that's exactly what happened. It was numbing cream. I, when I was talking to Seth earlier, I drew a comparison. But do you not think? Do you think this is interesting that? The monkey's name is Tonka, and her name is Tanya. Yeah, but do, do, you, do you think that's related? Would you see a movie called I, Tonka? <laughs> Absolutely. Who's starring in it? Um, who, plays ta- who plays this Tanya? I think you could play Tanya, and no, Seth could play Tonka. What celebrity? Margot Robbie ain't playing this Tanya. And it's not going to be Melissa McCarthy this time either. Um, well, who's uh, playing her? You know who would be really good, actually? Annalie Ashford. Oh, she'd be fantastic. She's fantastic. She'd be fa- you're you're going you're gonna to blow your mind, but I went to high school with her. What? Shut up. What? Is she from Colorado? Where? To God, yep. Annalie you never Ashford. told me that. You never told oh, me I, that. I must have completely forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You I went to high school. Yeah. Was she like drama queen? Yeah, totally. She did like all the You never news. told me this. We're breaking up. <laughs> I, I want I to say, I'm honestly, she might have, it might have been like I was a freshman and she was like a senior, or maybe it was like during my, my sister's three years older, so maybe during that, but- yeah, she was like, I know she was totally about drama, like the, the drama department, doing theater. No I surprise at all. Can I just tell you this? I thought I was actually going to be next level because of my Tish, you know, training. That and like, he's, I was and like, he's best friends with Becca drop Tobin, this name. Lady Gaga. He went to fucking I, freshman I year. I would thought Annalie Ashford would be like this echelon that's that's not even in your in your uh, league. Oh, are you, does and you this both make you like him more? Yeah, and actually, well, the fact that she went to your high school, is that correct or no? Yeah, 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 high school. I can't believe I never told you this. I, I just got hard. I just got hard. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think she was like, forgive me, but that famous. Like, I knew she was famous, but not yeah, that famous. You, she's, she's not. She's, That's what's great about her like is that in she's... The, in the theater world, she's really famous. And she's been on a bunch of TV shows now. Like, I'm a big fan. So, wow, Seth, thank you for sharing that. Do you, think, I, you know what? Actually, I, I don't want her to get offended. I don't think she looks anything like her, but I think she gets the humor. Oh, she... Oh, she's just a great fucking actress. She would play it very well. But let's just think right now, time-wise, we've got one more episode that's airing this Sunday night. So this this podcast may drop right before it. But how is this going to end? I love that the director's like, what do we do? And he fucking- Did you watch the third? Yeah, of course Seth, I Seth, did you the watch the third? Yep, yeah, right when they tell like PETA and PETA's like, what do we do now kind of thing? Yeah. Wild. Like the biggest hot mic moment ever. The minute that hot mic moment happened, it was like a la Robert Durst. Remember what like Robert yes. admitted? But she oh. like it didn't even phase her that the cameras were on. Well, here's she what I like, did find oh, out. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but apparently, so you know there was that proxy director who was the circus yes. clown? Stewart, so, I think. I forgot his name, but um a gentleman. Stewart. Seems very nice. Um, but apparently she found out about Eric Good. Is that the creator? Yes. She that's found the out that Eric Good was behind the whole thing. <gasps> who like, did Tiger King? Correct. Mid season or like maybe towards the end. And then she like said she wouldn't have been involved in the first place if she oh. knew he was there. So, but apparently she said, I don't give a fuck and started like interviewing with him. So that's interesting. So do you, why would she sign up for a show and have no idea who like the producer is? Like she wouldn't like do a background and see the Tiger King. She's clearly proud of her chimps. She's proud no, of because I guess was he using this proxy guy as like a cover? Well, I worked on a show called Undercover Boss once and the people got the wind, the, you know, it was a very popular show. So people got wind of like, this is right. a, you know, a hidden camera show, or like, you know, people are, are going to be pulling one over our, our eyes. So they hired people like producers to be like proxy producers for another show, like a whole mm. other show. So like, I could see how people, uh, how she could have been fooled. Wow. And it's like when I worked on the cat house and people would come in and be like, "Uh oh, are you guys filming? I want to cheat on my wife. And I'd be like, we are filming. Come back. Or do you want to be on camera? Do you know what cat house is, Steph? No, I don't. <laughs> it's a soft core porn show. It was a show. late night documentary on HBO. You might be too young to know what it is. I think uh, I just want to boil it down um, about Chimp Crazy. Like what makes this w- woman unfit to be, you know, the, the caretaker of Tonka? I'll tell you what. I just, this, these chimps in the cages is so fucked up. You see them. You see that they're not, they need to be let go. They need to be free. And that's why the minute they let go, they kill somebody. Or they go to kill somebody. No, they get killed by their owners. This was, this was because they happening. go to hurt somebody. Tanya says that these animals are so domesticated that if they tried to take them to a sanctuary, that they wouldn't survive. Like, they don't have the survival skills. That's why she believes that Tonka should be staying with her. 
what, do you think that if the, that Tonka was released into a, a, a wild environment that he would sur- he would survive? She, she would say no, and that's her right. argument. So why I think she's, we should, they should test this and see if Tonka would basically throw him in the wilderness and see what said, happens. She was basically Tanya was saying that that if Tonka went to there, like he get in fights with the other monkeys, apes, whatever. And my thought is, well, they just put him in like separate cages. But the problem is, he's in the basement. He's like socially isolated. And I guarantee you, I, I promise you, give it 10 years, he's going to attack Tanya at some point. Uh, yeah, it's going to happen, but I don't think we're going to get that far. There's no way Tonka yeah. is making it 10 years. Why not? That's the point. That's a very good point. No way. Or they're going to start hooking up. She can start <laughs> hooking up with the monkey. Someone's going to shoot him. Peter's going to get him. Like, how is this doc ending? Well, here's what it is. A lot of these women who are like, who have the feds come and shoot the monkeys. I, I'm, I'm relating it to a lot of true crimes that I watch. It's because it's like that whole like trope of like, if I can't have them, then no one can have them. Mm, so right. like they sacrifice the monkey, like because That's they're exactly too selfish. That's because they don't want PETA to get the monkey. Correct. So they rather have the police or the feds come Isn't that fucked shoot. up? So fucked up. On, the, on that note, how do we get into breeding and selling rare exotic monkeys? Wait, can we just discuss that it was in Connecticut? No, one what? of the monkeys, not Tonka, but like one of those B stories was in <laughs> Connecticut. The B stories are very like minor to me, but yeah, but episode two B story was in fucking Stanford, Connecticut. I think it's more random to be in Missouri to with a monkey. Personally, oh, I totally disagree. I think it's more random to there's a chip down the block from us. I think you should get one, Casey. Should we get a chimp? I would never wait, say no oh, to wait, a chimpanzee. You have to wait, tell tell her what you told me earlier, Seth. About he's he's obsessed with all things housewives, so he knows things. Ahead of all of us? There's got to be a housewife with a chimp. Yeah, well, I, I heard that they are thinking about having Tanya join Real Housewives. Oh, come on. Miami or Salt Lake City. Given the whole drama that she brings to the situation, her her get up and her fake crying. Yeah, I heard they're, they're in talks to, to bring her Should on. We, where did you hear this? One, two, three. April Fools! <laughs> we planned that ahead of time. Oh, I said Marty is so gullible; she'll believe that. I was like, "That's ridiculous." <laughs> would be a great idea, sense. though. This is, i really think they'd be Tie good. Tie on great. housewives. Wouldn't that be good? I mean, she could get like some sort of spinoff. I'd rather see her like be a bartender at the new Vanderpump or something. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just see like fake hair, the crying, the whole. The, the crying whole was wild. Oh, that was the crying on the Zoom, oh, okay. and the judge being like, "All right, we got to take a break." Do you know what broke my heart when she was telling Tonka to clean his shit off the window? When she was like, it's down there. It's down there. Remember, she was directing him where to wipe. I was like, this is sad. This, this- the whole thing is sad, but it's so fucking entertaining. If you're not watching Chimp Crazy, get on it. It's only four episodes. The fourth episode, one more to air. I just think it's, it gives, it does it give me Tiger King vibes? No, I kind of, it's like, it's like a, it's a different It kind of vibe. makes me want to get a monkey. It makes you want to get one? Yeah. Well, my friend Dana that knows the exotic vet went. She went to see, she went to the sanctuary. She's got pictures with Which her, sanctuary? Like the- The, the one in, that she went to the one in Missouri. I have one question before we start ending this topic. What happened to Connie? I, Connie knew. Connie was like, I'm not going on camera. She was that woman, the first woman they Connie's, talked about? Connie knew. Tanya and Connie are besties, but I think Connie knew. She's like, you see her sometimes. It's all weird. Do you think that Connie and- and um, Tanya were maybe together. Also, wait, do you? No, I don't think they were together. Do you guys think Tanya was right about Alan Cummings getting paid by PETA? No, no, I don't. I do love that he's in this. He's he's what we call a Seth. Uh, I'm not sure if I taught him this word, but Marnie and I uh, have used a word for a long time that I've coined, and she's since stolen from me. She is what we call a <laughs> chime, a Alan? timer. Are you Ch- calling Alan Cummings? Oh, yeah, Alan is what we call a chime. Oh, I thought you were saying heart. Are you no, calling no, no. Alan a female? Alan is a ch- we don't need We don't need the whole- I love Alan Cummings in this. I don't know. I feel like it made it a little bit more highbrow. <laughs> no, it elevated the series for it sure. It did. But- He's having a moment with the traders. I don't know. I just thought it was so funny that he was in this. Phaedra Park should have been a part of it <laughs> with traders. <laughs> That's the only thing she we were missing. Legal, she could give legal analysis. Yes. Legal. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Alan Cummings had a relationship with Tonka. Do you? Who do you think that Tanya looks like? But like, not casting the the fictional series related, but who looks like her that we can recognize on the news and media? Mm. Oh, oh, oh! God, I can't remember her name. I think she gives me a little bit of like Dolly Parton meets Ted Cruz meets like Gordon <laughs> Ramsay vibes. Like if they had an inbred baby, that would be Tanya. Who's that like famous actress with the blonde hair and she's like ditzy? Oh, 
don't say Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah, oh what is she? That? She could fucking Jennifer. Play her. Cool, you know what? That is the role for Jennifer. Anna Lee Coolidge. Ashford, you're fired. Fuck. Oh my God, Seth! Ding, ding, ding! See, I told you. Applause, applause, talking. applause, applause! That's a wrap on Chim Crazy. Thank Seth, you, Seth. It was so lovely to meet you. To you as well. It was a pleasure. Have fun, Jordan. Have fun at kickball. If you come back Get to New York, sometimes. if you come to, did you say Thanksgiving? Oh. He's coming to Atlanta for Thanksgiving. Fuck that. All right. I'll be, you, I'll be in New York in the coming months. Don't worry. I'll please, meet you in person. Please. Absolutely. You have to come to Long Island. Thank you so much Absolutely. for joining Have us. Time, Have fun at kickball. Bye. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk soon. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Love Seth. Great. Jennifer Coolidge for the win to play Tanya. He love wins. It. Love it. Love it. Oh, my God. Jordan, there's more we have to talk about. I know you don't watch. Do you watch? Talk about Chimps. Do you watch Bad Monkey? I watched one episode. That was the worst one. This is the worst piece of shit. I agree. It was so. You know what? We don't agree on a lot. This we agree on. It was very slow. First episode was the worst. Compared to something else we'll talk about, which was very fast. Stand by. Keep watching. Bad Monkey. I. It keeps getting better and better and better. And I think the show is. It's really, it's not about Vince Vaughn. It's about Rob Delaney. So you liked it? I like it. So I'm on like episode four or five. I thought you said you didn't like it. I hated it, but I kept watching and I'm like, oh my God, Rob Delaney and Meredith Hagner, who's married to Kurt Russell's son from Search Party. Did you ever watch Search Party? Yes. Fucking love Search Party. John Early, I'm obsessed with him. Oh, love him. So I got to just say, Bad Monkey keeps getting better and it's, it's... it's not about Vince and Natalie. It's about Robin. I watched one episode. On, are we? We're not giving spoilers with one episode, but let me just tell you this: I've never seen a medical examiner <laughs> so attractive. Like, Natalie. Yeah. Wait. You, no. You know, no. She's. What's that? Her. Is that her real name? Yeah. You know who she's like? Very good friends with. Who? Meghan Markle. <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> Great to see everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sound effect of footsteps. Jordan and Garrett have no, some gay beef with No, there's no beef. I love Garrett. He's so sweet. He doesn't have $10 million, but <laughs> he's so sweet. That was in regards to Ryan Serhant's show, Owning Manhattan, which got a fucking season pickup. I'm not surprised. It got a season pickup. Why did um, Ma- Maurizio's show not get. Renewed? I don't know. I don't know. Why did, did Brian I didn't watch Beverly? It, so. Me neither, but like. Got a lot of media. Why did buying Beverly Hills not get picked up? I don't know. Maybe he was like, I'm done. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's, we're talking a lot about monkeys this. I know, but let's, uh, there's one show that I think we need to give a big approval rating to. I, know I want people to watch because I want it to get picked up. I'm rooting for this show. Do you know what I'm going to say? Wait, did, I, I, was it on I, the homework assignment? <laughs> <laughs> I did text you midweek. I'm like, yo, Jordan, I'm watching English Yes, teacher. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I watched it the second you told me to, and I'm obsessed with it. No, it's very, very good. So English Teacher, only two episodes are out. It's FX Hulu. Now, funny, I immediately like deep dive the main guy, Brian Alvarez. And Jordan I mean, Alvarez. Like, Don't forget the Jordan. Brian Jordan Alvarez. And I saw the minute I went to his page, you already followed him. He's amazing. So what made you follow this man before this show? Have you ever seen Jane the Virgin? I never saw Jane the Virgin. He's in Jane the Virgin. And he was also a standout in the movie Megan, which also reminds me a lot of you. He was in Megan? I don't do hard. Yeah, he's movies. like the scientist and like the, the doll. He was also him. had a very small role in Will and Grace. The new one. No. No? The OG one. He's very, very funny. And I'm going to let you lead the charge with talking about the show because I think it's very smart. It's so smart. It's like... It's, it's, you know, first I was like, oh, this is going to be their Abbott Elementary, but I don't think it is. And it's, he's playing a gay male teacher in Texas. And it's just, it's just right on point of like today's era. Like all my friends that are teachers, I'm like, you guys have to watch this. There was a part that reminded me of you with uh, the hot teacher, Gwen. <laughs> the redhead? Don't you you see yourself in her? I don't see myself. See, in her I at tear all. you down and I compliment you. She's <laughs> beautiful. You. She's beautiful. She's cute. No, but it, it was crazy because it reminded me of like, oh, these teachers have to deal with these kids filming TikToks in this. Right. Remember when she was like posing for the yes. TikTok, oh, getting yes, all sexy yes, for yes, it? Yes, yes, that, that was like funny. money. If she was a teacher, she would have done that. Yes, I totally would have looked at myself on the camera. No, but I feel like this is such like real issues that teachers are going through. But I deep dived, like how did this show get made? Like, I love that. Of course, I told Felicia to watch it. And my mom's like, I don't know any of these people. She's like, like, in Greece, we don't get such Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm like, mom, that's why this show is so great. No one famous is on this. Same thing with fucking Ale- Abbott Elementary. Nobody famous. But apparently he was in a web series and the producer like saw the web series and, and, picked, and, and reached out and was like, let's create a show together. So I think this partially was his idea. 
It reminded me of Glee when Glee was really good. But. Like season one. Yes. You know what Casey said it reminded Becca, him of? Becca, I love you. Becca. <laughs> the other ones. Did you ever watch the other ones? No. The other ones, it's Molly Shannon has three kids and it's a, a gay son, a Justin Bieber kind of son and a funny daughter. It was that kind of, how do you explain that kind of humor, Casey? It's, it's you know what? It's restrained and it's, they talk about the bigger issues without jamming it down everyone's throats. Yeah. And I think that makes it more appealing, more digestible for people that may or may not even know about these. What did you issues. think about the drag queen, Trixie? I love Trixie. She's you, amazing. I, 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 so I didn't realize that was Trixie. Oh yeah. I'm not, I don't do drag queen. Oh yeah, and like RuPaul. I mean, well, how do you not recognize? You don't watch RuPaul. So no, that's why she's the she's the most iconic, right? And she was on it. I thought she was great, but I um also loved how they you know kind of portrayed the his persona. They they talked about the drag persona, but they also showed his real personality. Even like also him look, without, without drag, I was like, whoa, he looks like totally not a man that would do drag. What I love about that story was that like they showed him just like outside of the, the outfits right. and they showed the real, I mean, even portrayed a dark storyline. Like he's a thief. Ooh. Like, right, so right. like when people are getting preached to like, Oh, like accepts the drag Queens, like, make sure you, you, uh, you know, watch drag race, et cetera. They, um, you're actually seeing a real story versus like getting the disney version of that. story. So, Forgive me, I don't watch Drag Race, but on Drag Race, do you see them out of drag and get to know who they yes, are? Yes, yes. You do. Yeah. So good. Correct. So let's recommend English Teacher. Hulu. It's, and it's like a half hour. It's going to be it's gonna be big, I have a feeling. I hope it is. This is a show, I, 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 I did well on Rotten Tomatoes. This is the type of show that if it doesn't do well, it'll have like a little bit of a cult following like Happy Endings did with, with um, Adam Pally, like shows that like like a Freaks and Geeks, like people are going to love it. Everybody know that's watching it loves it. I think the momentum will build and I think it's actually going to be the one of the standouts this year. Tell Me Lies is a show that I didn't expect you to watch. I didn't put it in your homework assignment. Thank God. But two episodes dropped, season two, and I know people that listen to this podcast love Tell Me Lies. It's about like college sex, cheating, drinking, partying, and <laughs> Jordan's face is like snooze fast. So I enjoyed it. I binged. No, I I, I I need to watch it, but it's like you don't need to watch. I don't know if it's your wheelhouse. What the, what the listeners need to understand is that Marty assigns me shows. And you sound like my mother now. I think I have diarrhea of the mouth. There's too many shows so to you're watch. You're literally doing Felicia. So what, what else did I assign That's you? That's the nicest thing you've ever said. Oh, you know, you assigned me. What? You assigned me something that I with with. with We're not talking about it. I, I, no, no, I, no, 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 no. Jordan wanted me to watch my worst ex or whatever. Worst worst ex ever, and I will tell you this. I kept saying to Casey, I got to watch this fucking show. I, I have no desire to watch it. It's only it's four episodes, and I, thank you. You told me to watch episode three. It was good. And I did do it. So here are my thoughts. <laughs> you want an award? Get some cookies. Get an award. <laughs> Shocking is that it's like top shows right now on Netflix. So I was like, it doesn't get crazier than this. <laughs> everyone has a crazy ex. That's why everyone likes this. Was episode three the worst? I mean, in terms of like the crazy the four episodes, like why'd you tell me to watch episode three? Because you reminded me of the two women that beat that man. <laughs> Stop it! Do you think Felicia would have liked it because they're Asian? It's an Asian wave. <laughs> um, I think she would have enjoyed so it. Just give some backstory. No, I mean we're talk- are we? St- I actually I was fully accepting no, of the fact you didn't that we're watch not talking Tommy about. Lies. It. We're going. To- I watched Worst Sex Ever. I spent one hour oh. of my life today watching it. We're discussing it. No, I just felt okay. So the situation for this gentleman that got taken, well, the three of the four of them, I think, were women that were taken advantage of or abused oh, by a man. So, so this, this one was the only man being yes. abused by a woman. And by the way, I could be wrong. I don't know if I watched the fourth one. Casey I took place in Alameda, California. Isn't that one of your places? One of my places adjacent. But like, isn't that where like what, all the true crime has been happening this year? I feel like there's been a lot of true crime out of Northern California lately. Like yeah, what? Not like the other one. Um, uh, the Papini, Sherry Papini. Oh, yeah. she didn't do anything wrong. I was well, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she did so much wrong. She faked her own fucking kidnapping. She was on holiday. It wasn't so much that these uh, these <laughs> things happened this year. They they were just they didn't happen this year. It was just all the docs are out. But okay, so this Sherry man. Papini. So what I, so just socially what I think we can learn man. from this episode is that you don't get introduced to your partner or significant others by a elder coworker. I think that was strange. Like the older lady was like, remember she was like, meet yeah, my daughter. But I don't I actually don't think that's crazy because everyone's like, oh, isn't it so nice to meet somebody in person? This man was so socially awkward. He yes. never he probably was a virgin, right? Was he a virgin? Like a virgin. He never had like a fucking friend. Like this he, he seemed like a loner. So it was like, oh, then this woman, like, do you think the woman just wanted a baby? Do you think she wanted a meal ticket? Like, what was? I the, think it was a little bit of a meal ticket. How did she change so quickly? Like, can people manipulate 
their partner, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, like that quickly to be like, oh, like let's do this. I'm gonna be this she was so- devout Catholic and you know be the perfect housewife. No, I think she was always crazy. This is Basha Cray. She's she was up there. Yeah, and then the, the, I don't like when they teamed up and they just really took advantage of this guy. It was so horrible. He was really? a really good dad. He, you know, was you know obviously he won custody because this woman was exposing her crazy. So, that- so are we doing like a spoiler alert? Because I don't know how many people are running to this episode. Like she killed his grandma. <laughs> yeah, that that was unique. Like she killed his ninety one year old grandma. Could she not just wait till he got home to kill him? Like I don't understand. <laughs> she has she devised such a plan. And by the way, if you're going to be Basha Cray, don't leave all the evidence. She bought all the guns. Oh, the, not, like, the, the, the stun so gun. Stuff. Oh, God, so many things. Why do you need two stun guns? Because I don't know. Well, there was two of them. She peer, she peer, teamed up with her, her mom, Rosa and, and May. Is that the name? Yeah. So, so what I was also kind of disappointed with was that they named it like uh, Operation Custody. Like, get mm. more creative if you're going <laughs> to steal your kid away. Get more creative. You could call it anything else, but like it could so be any- basically she was trying to get custody back. Yeah, but why do you have to serve it to the cops like that? You're telling them what you did. And the best is like when she was in um the 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 police station like getting interviewed, she just lied and yeah. lied. What what how- and she was so like quiet. Like so, yeah. she wanted to play the victim. Yeah. And do you think that she got uh indicted or well, she's in jail. She's in jail. Twenty five years to what life. Do? What like, do you mean? What she? T- <laughs> she was loving mother. She wanted her kid. She killed his mother. She killed the grandma, and she tried to kill him. I hated them. And I'm just gonna tell you this right now, Jordan. I will not be watching episode one, two, or four. You know what? Did you watch all four episodes? No, of worst I haven't. Ever? No, I. I. It's so funny you that you're actually turning this? this on me now. <laughs> you're turning this on me because I watched one of your shows. Which that was I was, what? I tell I for- me. I forgot what it was. Well, didn't even want to watch it. What was it? And we didn't even talk about it. So I well, was. We're going to talk about it. We're, it's the. It's the end. We're going to end with the the big show that I. I know. You, yeah. Let's just go ahead and because I perfect, know you're not into worst. The act. perfect couple. The perfect couple. That was homework for you. You and, and Casey you so, are the perfect <laughs> couple. Aren't you so happy that I told you to watch it? You know what's so funny is that you and I have similar tastes, but I sometimes take it with a grain of salt when you give oh. me a suggestion. When I started watching, so I was like, oh, another one of these soapy, trashy. Shows not like a white lotus meets big little lies, but I didn't. I, I was making a false assumption. Mm. So when I, I, you know, I started watching it immediately, drawn in, immediately hooked. It's so good. Give me Nicole Kidman and Leave Schreiber. Could do I no love wrong. Him. He's hot. He's I hot. You mean they call love, him? He never plays that type of role. He's like a dilf. That's what they call him. In this oh. Movie. Tag. Oh, his name's him. Tag. Tag. What are with these names? The names. Greer. She played Greer. That was so weird. So by the way, they're six trying episodes. to be these waspy, like Greer, and like you know, they're so tag. rich. Yes, I love a show where rich people just are a fucking mess. They're just a mess. They wouldn't show their mess until the you know. Mm, I mean, that's the curtain is lifted. So you haven't finished yet. I am on the last episode. If you want to spoil it for me, I don't. Uh, here's the problem. This is why I don't want to spoil this for people because it just dropped. And it's on a rare occasion, Felicia would have finished this in a heartbeat. I'm sure. It's one of those shows that you also have to, like, people want to reward themselves. Yeah, I don't want to ruin this for everybody. I could ruin Worst X for everybody, but I'm not going to ruin this. (laughs) But I got to tell you something. The girl who plays Amelia, the bride. Yes, she's beautiful. Guess who who her dad is? Who? Bono. No. She's gorgeous. Her dad is Bono. Can I, can I, um, think about, like, I I have have a little, uh, like, kind of theory, I think, that might play okay not so, spoiling it no, for no, people that haven't well seen it, it. it is a little spoiling but it, it's no it's like the first episode so okay my my love megan fahey oh isn't it interesting uh, uh, fuck it if if i'm gonna spoil it isn't it weird that how because everyone thought the end of white lotus she was gonna die i don't remember it so but megan fahey's in this I feel as she well really wa- and she was in white lotus as well i wish i could interview her because i feel like she's like please let me die please because please, like, like she was like in white lotus correct well she was one of the Suspected victims, potentially. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like that- She's she, really cute and pretty. She's gorgeous. I feel like she- I, I listened to her on a podcast once. I feel like she's really enjoying like getting the work now and like be, get, getting She's famous. so talented. She's so talented. Yeah. Is it interesting that her like, you know, because clearly she, she sounds Irish to me. Is, do you think that she's Irish? I don't know. Fahey? Anyway, oh. her name Merritt sounds very like Irish. Kind All of, like, the names yeah. in this show are insane. It's it's quite you know it's based on a book. I know, and all they, they're all based on fucking books. That that, that means Except they're good. Lotus. Oh, that's not a book. I don't think so. But Big Little Lies is. By the way, so I think this show. 
I'm not going to ruin it for any anybody, but I think it could, <laughs> I think it could be there could be another season. Like it's a limited series, but when limited series get another season, that's like it's re- Oh, wait, can we discuss? I'm so sorry for cutting myself off. Fanning. Oh, Dakota, she's incredible. And this is, is she? Yeah, I, don't even. Do not make me flip this table. She's <laughs> I I don't think she this role so, is like she looks different. She looks waspy. They should try to be yeah, like Yeah, no, she, I'm just not used to seeing her as an older person. Well, that's what you need to release is this vision of young Dakota. I, right. I've had You're trouble right. doing it. I, she's the You're one right. of the most prolific actresses, I think, of I'm our generation. I'm used to seeing Elm Fanning more now. Sure. So Dakota plays one of the rich son's wives who's pregnant. Right. And yeah, she's, you're right. It's super waspy. She's not trying, she's not TTHing. She's not trying she's to, not. Be, she's, she's like literally right. just, she's just trying to survive in this family and she's really making it work for herself. She's enjoying the lifestyle. And, you know, they, they throw a couple of red herrings in there. We, we still don't, I still don't know who did it. Right. So it's like a murder mystery, everybody. It's a little bit of clue. Chuck fuck Mary. Oh, I love it. Give it to me, Jordan. Tag. Mm hmm. Um, Benji. Benji is his son groom, that's getting married. Thomas. Thomas the is- The hot son, the oldest son. H- I think he's the biggest douchebag ever. He looks ever. like Chris Pratt. He totally is a worse version of Chris Pratt. I was like, is Chris Pratt in I this? I totally thought that too. This is them casting Chris Pratt, who's not Chris Pratt. They could be brothers. He's not as handsome as Chris Pratt? They're hot. He's hot. He's okay. I would kill him, mostly because he plays, and kudos to his acting, the biggest asshole He's the worst character on that show. If you were an actress, Marnie, you would play the popular mean girl. Would I? Or like so, the hot mean the hot I'm in, girl. Like I'm Lindsay Lohan in like act two of Mean Girls? Yeah, sure. Okay. No, but know. like no, but like if you if you're good at something, why not stick to it? Why sure, are you, why are you I, dogging I, this guy for making so a I, living? I, I, no, I want to kill him. And I want to I surprise you have an iffy weird feeling about Dakota. Like, why do you dislike her? What's your problem with Dakota Fanning? I just she aged differently. And you know what it is, guys? Envy. She aged. She's not as cute as she was. Is that she mean? was a cute little girl. Like you can't compare. She, we actually are. Casey's, you should watch Ripley. Casey's, Casey's friends with her hairstylist. You should watch Ripley. Oh, I heard it was really. She boring. was fantastic in that as well. Right, can we go back to fuck kill Mary? Sure. Chuck fuck Mary. Obviously, I would marry Tag because and fuck him because I'm marrying him because he's so fucking. He's loaded. <laughs> you know what part confused me when they introduced Merritt and Tag. They did it at their house, and it was. And I correct me if I'm wrong. There's some flashbacks, it, fast forward. Yeah, but, they, it's a little but it confusing. looked like it looked like it was part of the events that weekend, right? So but, I was but like, "You're confused. right, you're right, you're right." And you know what I think it was? The engagement party. I don't think they made it clear that that was the engagement party. This is us producers actually being like, "Oh, they're saving a buck. They're keeping the location. They kept the look totally correct." Thank you. You're such a. If you're a millionaire, you why. If I was dating a millionaire, I would hope his parents, sorry, billionaires probably, that they also did all the events at their home. I thought that was it. a poor choice personally, but I You're thought- You're right. It was confusing. Very confusing. It was confusing. But you know, they, they changed her outfit. Her wardrobe was completely different. The outfit different. does not make a difference. I was confused. Call me stupid. No. I, I also think there was another moment where I was like, the murder happens, and this, is, this happens right away. I'm not ruining it for anybody. And they're upset, and the cops come, the press comes. And then like the story goes on. And we're like learning new things, but like the press is gone and like no one's crying, no one's devastated. Well, that's the beauty of these shows. You just forget those little things. Right. You just move on. But then it comes back. Right. So that part, I was like, oh, are they really going to like not have the press there anymore in this like huge, huge murder mystery? This like billionaire. She plays a very, very famous author. Like Danielle Steele. Can we disc- you, is that who you compared it to? Well, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I was trying to think like who is she supposed to be Danielle like? Danielle Steele, woman. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Danielle Steele. Like, I don't know of a very famous author other than like Colleen Hoover right now who wrote like It Ends With Us. But like somebody like a Stephen King, but like a female version that's like not doing horror. Danielle Steele's a woman. Okay, great. I just have to check. Can we discuss Nicole Kidman for a minute? I mean, I was waiting for it. The matriarch. She? Powerful. What? She's so good in everything she does. Everything she everything does. everything she does, I don't see Nicole Kidman. Like when I see Ben Affleck and things, I see Ben. She, I believe her in every role she's been in. And she's been in so much this year. This is interesting because there was an HBO show she was on. Yeah, everything. It was The Murder. But I feel like there she's are some so roles much. she's like more like herself. Oh, what was the one case we watched it where they play like a rich Upper East Side Yes, family? that one. Oh, what was that called? That's, also limited series. We're going to sound so stupid. What's that series called? The Undoing. The Undoing. I would have never remembered so, like, that. I didn't see that. I feel yes, like that- you did. You watched this with me, I thought. 
Stop screaming. Might have been someone else. Um, yeah, maybe it was your your she, secret lover. She, she was incredible. I, I just want to know all the work she's had done. She looks in, she because looks amazing. Her skin just is just just doesn't it just doesn't move. She can do no wrong. So the perfect couple is the show to watch. Now I will say this because we got to wrap things up. I know you didn't want to talk about industry. I, I didn't best, watch it. That do you watch it ever? No. It's the hands down the best show. It is the best show on TV right now. Really? Yeah. And if you're not watching it, watch it. What do you is, love about it? Oh, the characters, the acting. This past week's episode was not like a main character. And they just followed him and his story. And it was intense. And there's always cocaine. And there's always sex. And there's finance. And it's just like, I just love that Your favorite shit. things. I just love it. Is it, it like the bear where they kind of focus on individual characters? This season a little. But it gives me like the Wolf of Wall Street meets like, what was that big short money? What was that movie like? The they're, big short. They're, you're not going to get the dialogue. We don't. But it doesn't matter because there's so much of the stock market that I don't understand. But you don't need to understand it. Perfect. You're just seeing young people make money, lose money, and it's fucking exciting. And I just, I love it. And I've been in it since. I guess maybe I, I started watching it at, right after season one, but I love it. So that's my. That's my thoughts. Now, you don't want to discuss, you saw a movie this week, His Three Daughters. You have nothing to say about it. Was it was a great movie. I th- I, it's going to get a lot of buzz. it's about to be streaming. Yes. And I always get Lizzie Olsen and Dakota Fanning kind of mixed up because really? they, they do I look think similar. Lizzie Olsen is well, I, so pretty. I know Lizzie, so name drop. Um, Did you go to NYU with her too? She was, you know, that I was her like counselor at the Tish Summer High School program. What? Take that, Meghan Markle. What? Yeah. Wait, stop it. Yes, she's but she's Well, you were like a like an RA or like a TA? It's it's bigger than that because you have to supervise kids around the city, take them to shows. So you were hanging out with Lizzie Olson. Hanging out with Lizzie Olson. She's amazing, humble as pie, the sweetest woman, and the most talented actress I've ever seen. I love that. Yeah, I and love I'm that. not gonna give any spoilers. It's a fantastic movie. I highly recommend it. But you should um give it give it a shot and see what you Who think. Who plays the dad? Or is he dead? Like I'm not spoiling anything. The, the idea is like three. <laughs> just the, give me the fucking log line. Literally, it's about three fucking sisters. Okay, <laughs> it's about three sisters. Is it too long? Tell me the TRT. Well, no, it's um, it felt very theatrical. It felt like a play, and it's it's it has a minimalist set. It's pretty much set in one place. So it sounds like it's a little boring. Is, um, it, is it slow and boring? Be it, real, Jordan. It, it I know has, you're friends with Lizzie Olsen. She's not hearing. This. It has its moments. No, it's very funny. It's not as sad as you might think. Um, I, I really don't want to spoil it because it's about uh, someone's death. Copy. So I don't want to spoil for, it. Thank you for not spoiling it. You're welcome. So now it has come time to our segment called Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Marty. Where we discuss what we're watching this week. I'm not giving you homework. I'm going to tell you what I'm watching this week. Please. The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives drops today. And Casey, you best be getting on it with me. Selling Sunset, I will be watching this weekend. Wise Guy is the documentary on David Chase. I discussed this last week. Emily in Paris, part two comes out. How to Die Alone on Hulu and Handmaids. And I'm going to watch the last episode of PC, which is what- You might do that tonight, like on the train home. PC stands for? Perfect Couple. Exactly. I did love that show. I'm thinking about it. That's the show of the weekend. Should we watch it together? I like watched the last it You're going to watch it again? Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's go eat. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is there anything else you want to say? Yeah. I just, I'm having such a good time. Felicia, thank you for letting me be your understudy. Your absence is very much felt. And I do think that um, you really are the law and order of this show. And you help rein Marnie in and focus <laughs> um, on, you know, specific shows that are people want to hear about versus like the whole, I feel sometimes I feel like about the Golden Corral. And I just want to go to a Chili's. You know what I mean? All I want is a Chili's. That's, that's all I'm going to leave you with. It's not an insult. It's an observation. And I, I get overwhelmed with the amount of options. How about that? Okay, so I'm just going to say this flat out. I wasn't going to take you to Chili's tonight, but maybe I should to save some money. Oh. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. 